Okay, enough of you. Okay, so my wife wanted me to make a what I eat video and talk a little bit about it. And yes, she does exist. I'm wearing a shirt she got me that says all this fun information. So anyway, what do I eat? Oh, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say my collection's complete? Okay, raw deer meat, some chop, some ground, some down there, raw milk, deer heart, liver, and some of it's pretty old, which is a good thing. Unsalted butter, and some more things that I eat are over here. Raw honey, this is a little, a little more local, natural raw honey that I got. Is deer meat that's about 46 days old. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, it's wonderful. It's great, I'd eat that all day if I could. I guess I can. That is about 60 day old raw liver. A little different ballpark than just eating raw meat. Not for the faint of heart. But it is for the people who really would want to be healthy. I'm sure for a lot of reasons people don't eat this way. Religion. World control telling you what is healthy. A lot of people claim the whole natural way of living. But for me it's really a... It's a thing not read in the black and red ink. It's beyond that. That's why it's healthy for me. Eggs too. Straight from a chicken. Not a store-bought doctored up chicken, but a one that just eats whatever's out in the yard. And that's a lot of fun. 40 six day old deer heart that I put back in a jar from some other fermented high meat that I already ate. I just kind of recycled the juices and bacterias and put the deer heart in it. And that was kind of a small jar. It's like the it's like the medicine cabinet. It's not what I just eat on. Easy money. So what does it boil down to? One Cooking kills you because of all the crap that happens when you cook food. Whether it be plant, vegetable, or whatever your poison is, or even meat. If you cook meat, does not make it good for you. And like I've said before, I'm not made out of sticks and twigs, so I don't eat that. If you want to be healthy, it's no more complex than understanding what makes you healthy, and that is the condition of your blood. And your blood don't live off of sticks and twigs. If you feed your body stuff that your blood can't use, your blood's going to not be healthy, making you unhealthy. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.